guys, so for today's video, I'm actually going to be doing a super huge haul by my standards. Um, I actually thought that I had filmed like many, many hauls recently, which is why I haven't put one up because this is a very accumulative haul. Like, this is a lot of stuff that I'm going to show you. Um, and I think partially the reason for that is because I filmed this video and then like the footage wouldn't import so I had to delete it and after that I just thought that I had filmed a lot of hauls I guess so I wanted to stay away from that. So um, anyway, today I have come back with a haul because I love hauls and you guys know I have a shopping problem and I know that you guys like watching them because they're some of my most successful videos. So um, along with that I just want to say that I just hit 400 subscribers which I always kind of tell you guys when I hit another um, like milestone I guess um, eventually it won't be every hundred I hope um, but yeah so I'm really really happy that I've hit that mark um, I'm so excited to see what more I can do like I say every time that I hit a mark um, I love you guys for subscribing so keep hitting that subscription bar if you guys haven't subscribed already um, so yeah, I'm going to start with a boutique that is based in New York and that's mainly because I have one shirt that I already wore from there and um, I have to throw it on my bed after I show you guys. But yeah, so the boutique is called Mystique Boutique and it is based in New York City. It has a few locations. It has about six locations. Um, some of them are in Soho, one of them's in Midtown, and then they have some out on Long Island as well. So if you guys are in the New York or Long Island area, then you should definitely check out this boutique. I wasn't thrilled with it, but a lot of people that I know um, really love it when they go to the city or when they're out on the island. So yeah, you guys can definitely check out that store. It's kind of like a Forever 21 with very trendy pieces at Forever 21 prices. So yeah, the quality isn't super amazing, but the prices and the trends are there, so a lot of people like it. So the first shirt is this long tank top. And it just has this crocheted bottom and it kind of goes into a V and the sides like are short and then the front is long. Sorry that you can't see me. And on the back it has the crisscrossed effect and it's hanging funny on the hanger. So I got this in a small and like I said I already wore this. It's great for the spring because you can kind of wear it with leggings and then if you want to wear it to the beach you can um, with your bathing suit underneath or you can wear it with shorts if you don't mind your butt kind of being covered because it is a longer shirt. But I really love this and it's in white and I wanted to incorporate a lot of more white um, clothing items into my spring wardrobe so that is why I got that shirt and I'm really happy with it and now it's going to be on my bed for the rest of the video so excuse that because I don't want to throw it into this bag because it is clean and went through the wash recently and just in case if you guys are wondering that shirt was $27.99 so the next thing that I got from Mystique Boutique is actually this skater skirt which I was looking for a skater skirt a black one for a really long time and it's in this shiny material it's not in, like a cotton so it's not a typical skater skirt it looks ha it almost like is a fake leathery look but it's like shiny so it's like a polyester I guess so this was $23 and I got it in a size small and I really love this because um, I can't wait to wear this with like crop tops and things like that because that is so on trend right now and you guys know that I have that green skater skirt so I'm really excited to wear that one and that was only $23 so I thought it was a really good deal and I think that I'll get a lot of use out of that as it gets a little bit warmer. Um, like I said, I live in the New York area and it hasn't been super warm so I haven't been able to wear a lot of this spring clothes yet. So next I went to Forever 21 where of course I got a huge bag because um, I really didn't buy that much but I guess they just wanted to give me a huge bag and I went there on two separate occasions. So the first time that I went there I went ahead and picked up something from their um, collection out right now. It's like the tribal collection or something like that. The festival collection, I think. Yeah, the festival one. And this is called the Roven shirt um, in cream and I got a small and it was $17.80. It's just this small crop top with buttons down the front. It is a knockoff of a Forever 21 um, shirt that came out. And I'm really excited for this because I picked up a lot of high-waisted shorts. So I think that that'll go really nicely and it's a very nice kind of crochet material. And it's super fun for the summer and spring. And then I also picked up another crop top. 
and it's unbuttoned from the last time that I filmed this video. But basically it looks like this. It's short and it has this really nice lace detailing or like almost crochet detailing here if you guys can see that in the lighting. And I love it because the buttons down the front are actually little pearls and the collar has the nice lace and crochet detailing again. Again, it's perfect for high-waisted shorts, which is why I picked it up. And it is $22 and I this one goes in like sizes, so I got a size 2, which is comparable to an extra small, but or a small, but for the other countries on the tag, it's an extra small. So that is the other thing that I picked up. And then on my second trip to Forever 21, about a week ago, so these items will still be there if you want to check them out, I got this romper that I'm super excited for because I'm not a huge romper person because they don't always cut too well on me. But I'm really excited for this one because it is a plain black romper, which... I'm trying to organize and it buttons all the way down the front I'm so bad at showing you guys this because it's not buttoned but it has these cute little rhinestone detailing on the collar and then it just buttons down the front cinches at the waist with a button and then it has a zipper down on the pants and then it's just in two shorts and this one cut pretty well on me. You guys know that I'm 5'8", so rompers are always a little short on me and they ride up a little bit, but this one was cut pretty long, so I was really excited about that. And I love that it's just a plain black because I didn't want one that was too loud like my other ones. I got a size small and this one was $27, so it was pretty expensive for Forever 21. Um, but I thought that it was a really great deal and it was something a little more formal for if I go on vacation over the summer or when I go out to dinner with my parents or with my boyfriend. I like to dress a little bit nicer when I go out to eat just because, um, I don't want to look like a slob when I go out to dinner, especially with my boyfriend because I'm always really scared that since I'm only 17, well, I'll be 18 by the time that the summer comes around, but since I'm only 18, like, that the waitress is going to kick me out or something. It's a really, really weird fear, but I have it anyway. So moving on, I picked up another black thing, which is funny because I told you guys that I wanted to incorporate white into my wardrobe, but this is a small and it was $17. And this is again from their festival collection, I believe. It's just a tank top kind of thing, a loose fitting tank top with these kind of goldish, rustic gold um, buttons down the front, but what I loved about this was that it's so simple, but then it has like this kind of cross like detailing, like this crisscross like lace, well, or shoelace kind of thing, like tying it, yeah, random, but um, down the front like on both sides, so I really love that, and after it is wrinkled, or de-wrinkled, um, I think it'll be really nice. So the next item that I picked up um, is actually something that I traded in two other items to get this one because I wanted to limit my shopping. So this was something that I was looking for um, at a, quite a few different stores and I actually, I tried to fix it so that way I could show you guys nicely and now it's all tangled anyway. But um, it's actually just this kind of bustier or crop top and it has hanger, it has like straps but I kind of wound up the back so I don't want it to look funny. It has this really kind of cute tropical print to it and I thought this would be really nice under a loose shirt with my um, high-waisted shorts, or if I go to like some kind of festival outside, which I won't, but if I do, then I could just wear that with the shorts and be a little more kind of daring. But yeah, I decided to pick that up in replacement of lace shorts and this kind of like loose tank top that said Icy on it, like the little brand um, for Isis. But yeah, so I went with this, and this is a medium, and uh, it was $13.80. So it's a really good deal. It's um, pretty loose fit, like it's not it's not super hugging. And I found that the cup layout of it was pretty good, which some of their other bustier tops weren't that good. So that is my one comment on that. And then of course I went to the camisole section because I'm obsessed with camisoles and I wear them underneath everything, especially during the summer. I wear them a lot. So I got one black that is a V neck. And this one's a small, and I get the ones that are online because I find that they're a little more comfortable. And then I picked up another with the v-neck because I have the white ones in the v-neck and I like them a lot more than the regular ones. And then I went ahead and I picked up a peach tone in the v-neck, of course. So I decided to get the peach one instead of the white just because I thought that it was a lot nicer for the summer. 
and peach has been something I've been kind of into recently. So the next thing that I went and picked up at Forever 21 was I actually checked out their jewelry section, which I don't do that often. So I went ahead and I got this rose gold cross ring, which hopefully you guys can see. Looks like that. And yeah, so I picked up that and um, I'm really happy with it. I've worn it a lot already and I wear a size 6 in that. And then, oh, and that was... Let me try and find the little pricing that I removed of it. It was $180, so I thought that was a really good deal. And the next thing that I got was a long necklace, which I'm really excited to wear. I've already worn it twice, and I Instagrammed it. If you guys want to see my Instagram account, it's Joanna styled up 24 And I post, like, kind of cute little pictures and things like that, and my nails a lot. Um, so I got this long gold chain, and it has a little boat on the bottom with the blue paint so I thought this was really cute and you guys know that I bought an anchor ring recently so I've gone very nautical for this spring and summer but yeah I really love that so I don't wear all that much gold but when I do I will be wearing this from now on so the next place that I stopped to twice again from my last haul is actually Victoria's Secret and in the video that I filmed last time I showed you guys a bunch of underwear that I picked up for free but um Obviously, it's been a while since I filmed that, so I went ahead and washed them and started using them. But I will show you the one item that I haven't used yet, which is a more appropriate thing to show on YouTube anyway. It's actually this um, bralette from Pink, and I got it in the peach color. I'm trying to unfold it for you guys. This retails for $26, and I'm sure I had a $10 off coupon, but um, this is what it looks like. And I really love this as I kind of move my hand. Um, I really love how these kind of look underneath outfits and they're really cute um you guys know i got my sister one of these for, for christmas and she really inspired me to start wearing them because my sister is so trendy in what she wears and she has been wearing those a lot so i decided to go ahead and pick up one for myself for the summer and then when i went yesterday um and yes that, or two days ago um i went to go and pick up this little guy and he is the collectible dog for the MLB collection and I'm actually so excited because my cousin just texted me and she went and picked up something for the Mets because she's a Mets fan and um, she picked me up the Mets dog so I will have the Mets dog now and the Yankees one because I'm a Yankees fan. So I got the little Yankees dog so that meant I had to buy something from the MLB Yankees collection. So. Of course I did, because I have a shopping problem, and they'll never probably wear these as much as I should. I still got them anyway. So I decided to get the athletic shorts, and these are just the Yankees one. It was either this or a hat, but I'm not a hat person, and my head's really big, so I decided to get these. And they're really cute, cute and I will be able to wear them to the gym next year, and this year when I work out, and all that stuff. And I'm sorry for touching my hair. I've gotten a couple of kind of mean comments telling me to stop touching my hair but I'm sorry um just a little side note like when my hair gets in my face I really don't like it and I know it's silly because I choose the length of my hair and everything but um when my bangs kind of fall on my face I don't like them touching my face and I look in the viewfinder a lot as you guys can probably tell when you're watching this but when I look into the viewfinder and I see that my hair is like in my face or causing a shadow, it's kind of my instinct, like I just did there because I looked and saw a shadow, that I want to move it out of my face. So if I didn't, like I would be talking with my hair in my face and in my peripheral vision and I just want to move it. So I'm sorry, but please don't hate on me in the comments because of it. It's just something that I do because I don't want to look weird in my video, um, which I guess doesn't really work because you guys comment more on me touching my hair than how my hair looks. So, yeah. Moving on, I went to American Eagle and I did haul, I did get a circle scarf in the haul that um, I didn't get to post, but um, I actually put that away and I wore it a couple times, so you guys will definitely see it in some outfits of the days. Um, and I think I talked about it in my favorites video too. But I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the other two things that I got. And I ordered these during their 40% off sale. And I actually exchanged these shorts to get them on sale because I had pre-bought them with the scarf. But so I got these black 
um, high-waisted shorts. They're called the High Rise Festival Shorty. You guys know I was on a hunt for black high-waisted shorts and I finally found them at American Eagle. They're distressed, they are so cute, and they're the perfect high-waisted shorts. They don't show my butt and they are the perfect one around my waist. They go right underneath my belly button. So they're really perfect and they're really comfortable because they're American Eagle. And I'm so glad that I was able to get them and get them 40% off. And they're priced at, it doesn't say it on there, so let me just look at my receipt. And they were $39 originally, and I got them at a $15 discount, so I got them for $23.97. And then I went ahead and picked up these flip flops, which I may just wear them in this size or I might try to go and exchange them for one size bigger. I don't really know yet. Um, but these are the American Eagle Outfitters flip-flops in the color 8 and they are the rose gold plain flip-flops. So they're really cute. You guys know I love rose gold. That's what my ring was in and that's what my watch is in. So yeah, I'm super excited for these. They're going to be really cute on casual days out. And yeah. They'll be a good substitute for when I'm not wearing my old navy flip -flops. The last place that I went to for this shopping haul extravaganza was PacSun, or the store of the Golden State, California. Um, and you guys know that I hauled stuff from the Kylie Handel collection. Well, as it turned out, like I said in that video, the shorts there were cut really small on me. They were tight and my butt was hanging out of them. And I was just like, I thought about it for the full 60 days before I had to return them. And I was just like, you know what? I'm never going to be able to wear these out in public and feel comfortable in them. I'm not going to feel like like I fit them and it's just going to make me feel fatter than I actually am. And I got a size 2 in those because I'm, or a size 3, because I'm normally in between a 2 and a 4 for pants. Um, I have bigger hips than I do the rest of my body. Not that a 2 or 4 is big, so don't yell at me for that. Um, but I went back in and I returned those shorts because although as much as I loved them, um, I wanted something that I would feel comfortable in. And I was really upset because I couldn't find them in a bigger size. Um, so I went in and I just asked, you know, what other high-waisted shorts do you have? So I found these. They're from the brand Bullhead Denim. And they're in, they were $36. And I'm going to tell you guys the size in one second. But um, just to show you guys the shorts, they look like this. They have cute little hearts on them, which I'll try and focus you guys that way you can see them. They have little hearts on them like that. Okay, hopefully I'm in focus, guys. I'm really sorry. Um, but so I decided to pick up these because they covered my butt and they were the right size. But what I'm going to tell you guys was kind of something that shocked me. I'm actually a size 7 in these. So I found out that day that Sun cuts extremely, extremely small on everything. And, you know... Like, obviously it doesn't matter the size on the sticker, but I just wanted to tell you guys that because if you guys, this is so bothering me, I can't tell if I'm in focus or not. But if you guys are ever going to PacSun, um, just keep that in mind that, like, hopefully it's not just me, but they cut their pants really small. So, um, if you guys go to check out these shorts, just know that you have to order them, like, pretty big. So... That's what I got, and yeah, I'm really happy with them. I'm much happier with them than the Kylie Kendall ones that my ass hang it, hung out of, and yeah. And then I also, this is technically for my sister, but if she doesn't like it, it's mine. Shh, don't tell her I said that. But um, I, my mom picked up from Brandy Melville this kind of shirt that's like a muscle tank, and it's a crop top too, and it just has the moon and all the... Um, shapes that it takes on during its cycle. So it's kind of cool and it's really soft. Um, so yeah, that is it for this whole video, I think. Um, I hope that you guys liked it and um, sorry if I rambled a couple times and sorry if it's really, really long. If you guys want to see more haul videos, just leave it down below and next time I go shopping, I will show you guys. And yeah, thank you again for getting me to 400 subscribers and I love you all and I hope that you're having an amazing spring so far. And if you guys have bought anything recently that you really love, don't forget to tell me in the comments down below because I'm a shopaholic and I want to know what I should be checking out in a store near you. 
So yeah, that is it. I will talk to you guys later. Bye. The Healthy Sexy Hair Line, and this is the big, um, the one liter container. So this is the shampoo, and this is the.